Hi, everybody. Let me start by thanking Chancellor Suarez Orozco for inviting me today. I apologize for not being there with you in person, but right now I'm, ride, I'm riding in Air Force One with President Biden to spend the day in Detroit at the auto show, checking out the new electric vehicles of the future. Look, the president loves cars, and me, I love pollution-free and carbon-free transportation, so I guess it's just a match made in heaven. Look, the last time I gave a speech for UMass Boston was at the 2015 commencement, and, and while I am another seven years older, I'm afraid that I'm no wiser, but I am still really excited to join you today. You know, to be honest, I'm really jealous. You are just starting on your journey at UMass Boston. And for me, UMass Boston was the best educational experience of my life. And it is my firm belief that if you take advantage of all this proud school and amazing faculty have to offer, that this experience will be a gift that keeps on giving. No, it won't be free, but it'll be a gift nevertheless. You know, because at UMass Boston, you're gonna be challenged to think critically, to question what is and wonder just what could be, and to learn not just from your professors, but from one another, and to be passionate and compassionate, and to understand the value of service to others, and to not just be open to change, but to literally embrace it. These are the gifts in my life that this school gave me, and they have just been invaluable to me. That's why I'm so happy to be with you at the start of your journey. For me, UMB was a family affair. My dad went to Boston State before it became UMass Boston. And my husband, Ken, and I met at UMass Boston back in 1972. I know that was a long time ago when it was really no campus whatsoever, unless you call the combat zone a campus. You know, even my sister, my daughter, and my son-in-law are all graduates of U at UMB. So like I said at the commencement address in 2015, for the past now 46 years, when people ask me where I went to school, I say with pride, UMass Boston, and I never leave the Boston out. And you won't either because you're going to be UMass Boston proud. You know, this school has always attracted students who have a passion for learning, and that passion is, un is matched only by their passion for service. I myself am a proud public servant. I've worked at the federal, state, and local levels, and I can say without reservation that if you have any aspirations of working in public service, that you are at the right place at the right time. But no matter what you want to do with your life, please grab this school and make sure that you grab everything that it offers, because I can assure you, your opportunities will be limitless. I know that because here I am, I'm the daughter of a dad who was a lifelong Boston public school teacher and a mom who worked as a waitress part-time. I had absolutely no political ties or aspirations, and I came from no wealth and had no influence. In fact, I went from smoking Winston cigarettes in the back of French class at the old UMass Boston to working for six governors, Democrats and Republicans, to sitting in the cabinet room in Oval Offices with two presidents. Now, how did that happen? Beats me. I just know that all my life beginning here, I grabbed all the opportunities, every idea I could hear, any experience that I can engage in, and the possibilities that UMass opened up for me because I had no intention of selling myself short or leaving life's best adventures unexplored. And you shouldn't either. You belong to the smartest, most informed, tech-savvy generation in human history. It's a generation that is incredibly impatient and amazingly resent relentless. And I know so many of you are here because you already have a commitment to a better, more equitable world. You already understand that too many people in too many countries have been left behind. In the United States of America, we have people that don't have access to clean water or, to cl or breathing clean air. 
So now it's your chance to take hold of these inequities. It's your chance to take advantage of the education this school has to offer. So you can embrace the change that we all want and we need to see. This convocation is not just the start of your better future. It's the start of a better future for all of us. So go make that future come alive. For more than 40 years, I've been working to protect people from pollution and environmental degradation that we all know threatens our health and our well-being, not to mention our future. And during all that time, it has become increasingly clear that impacts from pollution fall disproportionately on people living in environmental justice communities. People who have been facing systemic disinvestments for decades, if not for centuries, including pollution that is now posing the greatest existential threat of our time, climate change. And now, Finally, I can say with the recent passage of the bipartisan infrastructure law and most notably the Inflation Reduction Act, that the U.S. is now back in a leadership position on climate. These bills are simply groundbreaking. They are historic. They provide what amounts to a game-changing commitment to tackle the, cloud of the climate crisis. The Inflation Reduction Act delivers alone $370 billion in investments, and that's going to eliminate a gigaton of greenhouse gas emissions, 1 billion metric tons. And that's going to put us on a path to achieve a 50% reduction in greenhouse gases by 2020, 2030. In that way, we're going to lower energy costs for families, we're going to grow good paying union jobs, and we're going to significantly advance environmental justice. <laughs> this is a big leap forward on climate, and it doesn't demand sacrifice. It provides opportunities for all of us. That's why it's going to work, because we're talking about the clean technologies of the future that are already here today. Solar, wind, and batteries are already winning in the energy marketplace. And these investments are going to provide the push that we need to deliver a healthy, more secure energy future for all of us. How sweet is this? So I know it's an exciting time for you, and it is for me as well. You're starting your time at UMass Boston, and I am ending my time in the White House later this week. And while I am enormously proud of the work that I have helped to accomplish with a team of amazing people all my life, and let me assure you that I will keep pushing climate action for my kids and my grandkids, but we have to keep working together because I know and you know that this is your time to shine. This is your moment of opportunity. So please grab all that UMass Boston has to offer. Stay hopeful and obnoxiously impatient because the time is now to deliver the kind of equitable, healthy and secure future that every human being deserves. And we don't have any time to lose. So enjoy the journey. Thank you.